Hey kids, good morning to you. Day before the royal wedding, and this is WTF Royal Wedding Watch Part 2. Okay, one of the greatest controversies surrounding this wedding is the Markle family. Okay, from the beginning it was told that Meghan Markle's father would not be attending the wedding and that her mother would walk her down the aisle until about two weeks ago. Miss Markle's um, half-brother wrote a very nasty letter to Prince Harry begging him not to marry her and that she was a fraud and a fake. Okay, my first question is, how in the hell did he write a letter to Prince Harry? How did that letter get through to Prince Harry? Because, I mean, there's some things I would like to tell Prince Harry myself, like, hey, can I get a job? Don't you need a personal assistant or something? That'd be awesome. Or taste... Te uh, test your food for you. I'll be good at that. I'm a big boy. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, yeah. Then after this nasty letter, all of a sudden her dad's going to the wedding. He's going to walk her down the aisle. And then it came out that he hired paparazzi to take pictures of him, working out, trying to get fit, getting fitted for a tux. And then that he got paid by the paparazzi for letting them do this. And then he was banned from the wedding because royals, you can't make money off of something they're doing. Okay, the dude's homeless and living in a mud hut in Mexico. How in the hell is he going to get there? He had to make money somehow. So don't hold that against him. I didn't see the royal family or Miss Sparkle pinch it in for a plane ticket. And then the rest of the Markle family is all banned from it. But... Her nephews and some other family members were hired by a British um, news channel to um, do some commentaries. And get this, her nephew, Miss Sparkle's nephew, um, he grows cannabis somewhere in California, Oregon. I don't know which one, same place, just one's rainier, one's drier. And get this, he makes this cannabis that's called Markle Sparkle. <laughs> I want me some of that and say cake. No, not really. You guys know I'm not a pothead, but hey, break tradition. Um, from what I cause, from what I've understand, the elderflower and the cake is nasty, and that's coming from that old Kathy Lee Gifford. So, anywho, then all of a sudden, the dad has a heart attack and ends up, and luckily, in a hospital in the U.S. and not Mexico. I mean, it kind of goes with the conspiracy theory that the royal family had Princess Di killed. So, all of a sudden, this dude, who, let's face it, the royal family doesn't want the Markle family there because basically they're white trash. Um, so, all of a sudden, he has a mysterious heart attack. And think what they did to Princess Di. Put two and two together, you get five. So, now it turns out that Prince Charles... He's going to walk her down the aisle. Yeah, that's right. Crusty old Prince Charles. Because um, he wants to welcome her to the family. Alrighty then. And, um... Yeah, and get this. This was supposed to be just a simple wedding. Simpler than William and Kate's. But, this wedding is an estimated over 40 million US dollars and according to my sources this is the 10 one of the 10 most expensive weddings in her histories yeah humanitarians <laughs> go figure